number 23 Oregon women's basketball lost on the road to unranked Oregon State 68 to 65 what happened exactly in that game I'm going to tell you that the first quarter Oregon State came out on fire 17 points to 10 but the second quarter Oregon scored 17 but Oregon State scored 13 so 30 to 27 lead at half third quarter Oregon State won that quarter 19 to 13 but the fourth quarter Oregon won that fourth but it wasn't enough 25 to 19 but I'm going to break it down to you in the stats as well Oregon shot not that great from the game for the game overall I mean 34.3% 23 for 67 overall 12 for 30 on threes 40 percent I can't fault you there 7 for 9 on free throws 77.8 percent I can't fault you there either because it's hard even if you made both of those free throws it would not matter if you would have still lost by one 38 rebounds 10 of those offensive 13 assists four steals two blocks eight turns whenever you take care of the ball that good you usually win but not in this case 16 fouls and 17 points off the bench now Oregon State had 28 points off the bench they shot better than Oregon by a good margin 46.9 percent 30 for 64 overall 4 for 15 on threes 26.7 percent you got to make more of those and it would have not been as so tight Oregon State if you would have made your free throws too I mean four for nine 44.4 percent you gotta get that number up at least a seven in my opinion 41 rebounds in the game eight of those offensive 21 assists and one steal four blocks 11 turnovers yes it's a, a lot and more turnovers in Oregon but it was not like a, like 20 turnovers or anything it's not like a huge margin in 12 fouls so I'm going to check that play by play if there was like some kind of late sequence in the game. No. Like, but like one minute, 10 seconds left. They, Oregon State made a, made a layup to be at 5, 65, 60. With 59 seconds, Oregon made a three by chance gray Oregon State called timeout to advance the ball they got Oregon State got a layup by Timia Gardner and assisted by Bindu Weenie Y E A N E Y I apologize if I butchered that last name then 39 seconds Oregon made a layup by NGNY yeah Rogers a e I mean first name uh, pronounce uh, spelling is e n d y i a I apologize if I butchered that last name obviously the Oregon State called timeout they missed a jump shot from Talia von old hoffen o e l h o f f e n something like that and it, but it was blocked by Tanya Hank Tanya Hansen, but they got the offensive rebound. There was, there was, there was, a, foul, there was a foul on a, AJ Marriott. Oregon, Oregon called timeout to probably advance the ball, but then of course Oregon State fouled again because they had probably had a foul to give with 18 seconds left. And by uh, then Oregon tried to make a shot. A jump shot and they missed it so they had they got Oregon State got the defensive rebound and of course great Van, Grace Van Sluden had to do the foul she fouled Oregon State made one out of two free throws they got the Oregon got the defensive rebound on the second miss taught call time out to advance the ball they missed a three by chance gray which was blocked they had another chance with three seconds left and shoot it again they tried but they missed it they got the offensive rebound with zero seconds, so or some around that time. So now going forward for both teams here, Oregon has the following games: at Cal, that's ten and eight; at number four, Stanford; at 
versus uh, you got Colorado number 24 coming to your place. You got Utah coming into your place. And you go on the road to USC. And most of those games are like Friday, Sunday, or just Friday. I know the first game after this loss would be a Friday, then it's a Sunday. Then it's a Friday, then a Sunday, then a then another Friday. That's the, usually the Pac-12, how they schedule most of the time on this. Now, for Oregon State, they have to go on the road to Stanford, number four Stanford. Good luck with that, but you never know. Anything could happen. On the road to Cal. Then you host Utah, number eight Utah, and then you host number 24 Colorado. That's the next four games right there. And one additional game is at number nine UCLA. So not really particularly easy for either team going forward in the next five games here. And I do think with this loss, Oregon, you're not going to be in the top 25. I mean, you lost your only game this week. You don't deserve to be in the top 25. When there's probably other teams that either go 2-0 and or maybe one and one ahead of you. It's better than zero and one. Anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. It's gonna be five subscribers. We're on the road to it. Let's go.